Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voices inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite Explosive One, and we're playing Late Shift. Yep. Uh, last episode, we were a valet. We got robbed. Yeah, now we uh, have a, a lady friend on our arm, and we're going to stop the transition of an ancient yeah. temple uh, artifact. I mean, we're going to go steal it. <laughs> yeah, we're stopping someone else from getting their property we're, back. We're, but we're going to go steal it. All right, anyway, resume oh, game. a long time ago. Apparently not. To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Ooh, I agree. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You She's know, maybe you're cool about dude. relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. I think we're going to save her life and she's going to be our partner. I think the other girl was cuter. Oh, yeah, I agree. But she's pretty cute, too. Oh, yeah, she's sorry. Right. Welcome to Hainsworth. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Oh, do we get auction paddles? I've never done this. You've never been to a real auction? Nine, no. Me neither. Thank you, sir. Nine, oh, wait, ten. that's a lie. Nine twenty. Did you go to a car Nine, auction? Nine twenty. Thank you. I did. But you get the paddles like that? No. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. Nine fifty. Nine fifty to my left. Do I hear nine sixty? <laughs> Hello, young Fair man. Warning. I'm selling. Just like you come here often. Nine fifty twice. So for nine hundred fifty thousand. Oh, these millionaire oh glances. Marvelous. That's ridiculous. Dude, I would vomit if I was in a room like that. Probably. Time. Just try to keep it out of the way. I'm sorry. What is that? Mean? that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking no idea. sideboard. Sorry. Pardon me. Not talking at all. <laughs> Not talking at all. I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Trent. Katie. Okay. What do you got to offer? Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. What do you got? That's it. Oh. It's literally like half a teacup. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Okay. okay. One of only three simply beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of the red down. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed. The tiny little bowl. It is a truly exceptional piece. The sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Oh, that's... Well, look at you. He looks like he's scared. <laughs> and so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. He's afraid of all the poor people and in the I room. And I would like to start. <laughs> Someone gonna rob me? Two million pounds. Two million, two million pounds. She grabbed our crotch. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the three back. Three million. Thank Did you, you notice that what she didn't three? touch our hand and reach for our crotch? Four. Will you stop four it? Four to the lady. <laughs> Thank you, madam. Three one four, John. Four what area three. code is that? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five. I get twenty percent of the sale price, don't we? Phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking. Six to my right. Thank you. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear? Stop talking. Seven. seven I have. <laughs> seven. Seven. Do I hear eight? Oh, they're telling she so she's going rogue all of a sudden. Yeah. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I Intervene. Hear nine. Nine in the room. Are you gonna let her? Okay. Let her nine, go. I'm for. She. Go ahead, nine, baby. You like lady. it? Thank you, madam. I'm looking for nine five, ladies and gentlemen. Nine five. Oh, she's now drawing attention to herself. Nine five. Nine five to my right. Oh, his wife's so like, you better get I, this. Uh, ten. Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him. Talk to me. We're looking to break ten. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your fucking Ten we mind? have. We have eight <laughs> ten. Ten is your bid, madam. I hope you got it. Now, sir. So do I hear ten five? You are so getting lumbered with this. Ten five. Ten, five, oh, I he's have. gonna. She knows Thank that you. he's gonna bid anything. Now do I hear right. 
Eleven I have with the lady. Why would she keep going? Eleven, it's your bid, Matt. Yeah, gut feeling. Eleven, okay. so. Because you know price We have eleven five. Logarithmic curve. Derivative eleven approaching five. zero. So the chances of getting away with another bid. bid. At eleven, madam. Mm. Eleven five. Half percent. Trust me. Eleven five. Eleven five I have. Thank you very much. Sir. Oh, don't do it. Eleven five, it's your bid. It's You'll against you now, Matt. It's against you, sir. Eleven five. Eleven five with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. Eleven five once. Intervene. Eleven Trust five twice. So to the gentleman on my right for. We're smart, dude. Five. We know <laughs> derivatives. <Thank you> very <laughs> much. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have gone for it. I guess we'll never know, will we? Come on, let's get out of here. She's like, oh, oh yeah, I don't blame her for being mad. She's getting greedy, dude. I don't blame her for getting mad. So she acts mad that the she didn't get it. Mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. Oh my God, she's already getting on to us. Cut by about 25%. She's a grown mathematics. adult, man. Me, 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 myself. I would have oh, just let her do whatever she wants. Yeah, you're an adult. Left and downstairs. Okay, and then. Then you're going to take out the security guard. Excuse I'm me. Sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. How do you take out the... Just like you did when you stopped my bidding. So what do I do? Oh. 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 <laughs> she didn't like it. do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in his tracks? He was told. Fine. We're, we're in, dude. We are in like Flint because we can always go back and say we fe feared for our life. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Telling you, dude, it works. See, but there, there becomes a point where you're culpable. Oh, <laughs> yeah. If, if you kill a man, that's yeah, it. You well. Stop your mailing like that. Now mailing's mad oh, at us. Into. Follow me. Just seems to like the rush. You don't He's say. like, I know what won't get into her later. Okay, You've got to move right now. I had to cut her off though, man. Can't just let her. Wait, yeah. When Simon gives the word, move out into the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon. He's the guard's image. He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. All right. So what, what technique do we have here? Ready. Is that a mirror? Ready. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, Good. but yeah. It's like a prison mirror. Let the guard or let this play out. I might not get another chance. Play along. Dude, just go along with this. He's eating a okay, crustless sandwich. <laughs> Is that a problem? Stop right there, sir. This is a restricted area. And there are cameras. I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor was staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh, he's going to give him the dioxapine. Oh, yeah. Oh, here comes. Here comes Ch Chad. Do. Do. <laughs> Look at his eyes, dude. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> oh. He's like, well, this one, we just got to knock him out. Oh, oh God. He's going to kill him? He's going to kill the bellboy. He's going to kill the craft services. He's just watching. The caterer. You're just going to kill him. He's just like, he's like, I just tried to go back upstairs. Now you're a murderer. See? Oh, dude. That's not exactly what I would have seen. Like, right there, you're culpable. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> At that point, you're a murderer. You're jail time. Oh, we get the... What is this? Oh, we swap it? We're all on camera doing this. Yeah, there's cameras. Okay. Oh, you're just going to put it in your suit jacket pocket? It's a $10 million, $12 million dollar bowl. The door. Okay. You have to They're not the wearing code. gloves. Got it. Zero nine two two zero. I'm good. On the right keypad, enter this. Yo, enter correct code, zero, dude. Five, two, zero, nine, okay? Why would I enter the wrong code? Got it. Now both hit enter at the same time. Okay. Three, two, one. Got it, we're in. Alright, let's get the hell up out of here. Yeah, we gotta Thanks, go. Mate. We have a twelve Thanks, million dollar. In his pocket. Yeah, we have got to get the hell out of here. 
They're driving a stolen car. Yeah, man. but they're not getting any money. They're just getting a bowl. I imagine they're taking the bowl to someone to get money. Oh, okay. Because then someone's going to pay them for the bowl, I bet. Oh. He said Mr. Whoever. That's true. Wait, you don't get pulled over by the by the police. Uh, yeah. Really, lady, what are you doing? Oh, Could you relax? I did not expect this to go that smoothly. You, the cops are coming. Yeah, I'll be putting my seatbelt on, thank you. It is the law. Click it or tick it. It's like, game's over. High five, dude. Give her a high five, dude. Oh, high five her, dude. Absolutely. I have to admit, I wouldn't have thought you'd live up to the task. Fuck. See, now she loves us. We and stopped her. We stood up for ourselves. Like uh, oh, right. yeah. Yeah, I kind of enjoyed it. We're criminals now. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't lie. He went from a mild-mannered student valet to a <laughs> life of high crime in eight minutes. A student valet, I like it. <laughs> just going to university. Why? Yeah, let's just drive nice and normally. There's no no need to get all crazy. Yeah, now I'm curious what the hell's going to happen. Like, I bet you that family that we just ripped off is going to show up somehow. Yeah, but they, they, they don't know. They look real deal. Holy field, dude. Oh, they should have had a fake bowl to put in its place, and they would have never known the difference. Yeah, I would have been. It would have been like they open it up, and they're like, "Wait a minute, this is from Big Lot." <laughs> There's a Big Lot <laughs> sticker right here on the bottom. Who's of got it? the Let's Ross go Bowl? <laughs> TJ Maxx, seventeen ninety. <1790. laughs> Ew! Into a Sprinter. Oh, now they look like they're just yep, just moving luggage. Nothing, nothing here. That. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. Fair enough. Just a traveling <laughs> troop of people in suits. Yeah, right in a in a travel and then the guy just who looks like a hoodlum with a bone sticking out of his arm. Too fucking right. Got to take the left. Some Shoreditch High Street, Hong Kong City restaurant. It sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Whoa, hold on. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this ball. Jeffrey, you're not serious. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Oh, that's what you freaking get for yeah, trying to betray me. Trying to talk about murdering me and then we all die. Dude, if we wake up and they're all out, we take the bowl and run. Absolutely. <laughs> oh man, I hope our girlfriend's okay. <laughs> Absolutely, except we're on camera. Somewhere. Oh. Mate. Mate Ling. Mate Ling, can you hear me? Little, who Open cares about her? Let's go. It's time to go. Okay, dip. this petrol, look, we gotta get out. Right? Petrol. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> who got snaps on the petrol? That's my favorite line from Menace to Society. All right. Get the bowl, dude. I mean, yeah, but, like, what are you going to do with the bowl now? Are those still guys alive? Take, still take it to the friend, dude. Are they alive, dude? You can't just, like, let them die. I think they're dead. No. He's fine. He yeah, is he's not. good. He's good. Nah, dude, he's good. He's got the bag. The bag's in his pocket, right? See? I told you she was going to be our girlfriend. They're all dead. Come on. They're all dead. Come on. Even worse when the uh, what do you call that the uh, ambulance shows up. They don't have those in England. And the police. What do they call them? The medics. The tire brigade. Oh, the Y. And Jewelry with two L's. They, at least that made it. We need to get away from here. Where are we going? Mr. Woe, dude. We're going to take this bowl to Woes to finish what you started. It's Mr. Woes? Yeah, but well, that was the plan, wasn't it? Be there! Oh, what? The, the police are coming. Stay here. My Ling. Mate, look, lady. Convince her, dude. We have to go. Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, okay? You have to do something. Take her. 
a look. Come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go. That's gonna be a good choice, dude. I don't know. Me, me, myself. I would have left her, but we don't know where Mr. Woes is. Hey. Oh, we did. They told us the restaurant, huh? It don't matter if I do or don't. If I get to leave out of there and go home and, and go to sleep, I'm I'm good. It was fun. It was an adventure. All right, yeah, get your ish together, lady. It was an adventure, dude. I do enjoy an adventure. I would like to go on, like, just a high-stakes robbery, like, one day, and then, like, at the end of it, you just get to go home. Like, an experience adventure. <laughs> right? Yeah, just, like, level up. Look at that Donkey Kong uh, font. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hong Kong. All right. <laughs> he's going to show up. He's like, who the hell is this guy? Uh, Yeah, well. Everyone else is dead. They wrecked. Oh, they... Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. It's actually a very... Uh, uh... We're here to see someone. Table for four. Four of me, please. <laughs> it's going well. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Far this way. Four of me, please. This guy's <laughs> dead, <dense>, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, he knows what's up. You want to see the manager? You want to see the manager? You want to see the manager? You're not even eating? No. The <laughs> health inspector? No. Look. It's Mr. Wu. <laughs> Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. That says whoa. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory clearing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You, right here. Have fortune cookie. Let's <laughs> <laughs> oh, eat the cookie. Yeah, let's have a cookie. I do like a good fortune cookie. <laughs> and, on, and on the next episode, <laughs> we'll meet, meet Mr. Wu. All right. That is all the time we have for this episode of Crazy Town Spoke. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already did that, hit that notification bell. You'll be like, hey, these guys did new stuff. Jonas. Uh, we are out.